Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle and this is MomWise. Today I am going to be going over my third trimester and also I am 35 weeks pregnant and a day. So if it sounds like I am out of breath, that is because I have a lot of pressure right now and Walter is getting very big. So I'm just going to like briefly go over my third trimester symptoms that I've had throughout my third trimester. Maybe like some difficulties that I found that came along with the third trimester. And so, also, if you do hear some dogs in the background, I do dog boarding and walking. And currently I have three dogs in my house, so might get a little bit noisy and try to keep them as calm as possible but it's really unpredictable okay so to start off with my third trimester symptoms I would have to say the one thing that I noticed the most was um, feeling fatigued more it's like the fatigue came back like the first trimester like I had in the first trimester and it was more like I could go about my morning walks and by, I would say, around like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. When my partner went to work, I started to get really tired and would need to take like an hour or two nap. And after that, it was like, um, I'd say I was having a lot of difficulties like new physical difficulties on my walks. It became more uh, harder to go on them for like a half an hour, hour walk because I started getting pains in my groin or also I started getting like pains in my lower abdomen. And it's mostly like in the beginning, it was just like a stretching feeling Whereas now, it is more like a contraction feeling. And I'll get more into that in a minute. But, and so the other thing about my third trimester is shortness of breath. And it is like so for real. Because the pressure of the baby just like pushing everything up now. It's like, you know, the uterus is like at its full size and it's just like so full and it's all baby and uh it's really something new i mean i never expected anything like this and i definitely underestimated pregnancy in itself or like what other moms went through to have their children and i'm definitely glad i waited <laughs> until now to have a baby because I don't think I would be like totally ready to accept everything that pregnancy had to offer. I feel like I'm more mature now and I can, you know, go about this more positively. And speaking on that behalf, I have had a lot of different emotions. It's hard to describe, but overall it's like Physically, I feel drained, so then, like, emotionally, I feel even more drained. And with that, I am, like, less tolerable to, like, let things, like, not bother me. And it's just becoming really hard emotionally some days. The littlest things that typically I would be able to handle on a day-to-day -day basis. Now this like whole new emotional feeling is almost like say like the first day of your menstrual cycle like how you may feel like that day but instead it's like tenfold and you can't really control it at all and that's just like really hard because there's times where i want to be strong and like take care of everything and it's kind of like my mentality where i like to Get things done and like as far as like Walter's nursery or 
the things around the house or taking on dog boardings and all of these things just like really add up on top of each other and it becomes like a lot to handle. And with the new symptoms such as like, you know, having trouble breathing or physically carrying out these tasks, it just makes things hard. But overall, like, I mean, it is doable and it certainly is worth like everything when it comes to my baby and knowing like he's okay, I'm okay and that's like the beauty of it I guess. You know, you get to have this child with you and develop that bond together before their arrival. Uh, okay, so as far as cravings go for my third trimester, uh, I was craving salty foods, which I had to cut back because that brought on like water retention and my right leg at like the ankle area was starting to swell a little bit. I mean, my blood pressure was fine. My doctor said that was good, but I had to cut back on my salts. And when I did that, it definitely helped out. Like, don't really have as much swelling in my ankle on my right side. And I'm having less pain as well in my leg uh, when I do my dog walks. Um, let's see. As far as I know, right now I'm 35 weeks and two days. And I have my 36-week checkup. Uh, coming up here soon and he was in a breech position it was like a he was like in a plank position where his like body was like this like his head and then his butt and then his legs went up and so that was like you know stressful in itself but I was totally open to having like a cesarean because whatever is gonna work to you know, get us through this, you know, safely and making sure that he, you know, he's taken care of, like, the right way and I'm, I trust my doctor with everything that he's decided so far and if a cesarean was needed then so be it. But my last appointment I went to, he said that he said that the baby was head down. So I'm hoping he stays in that position. He is getting bigger. So I can't really see him like really doing a 360 or like turning anytime to be back in a breech position because I mean, he's only getting bigger and there's only so much room in there. <laughs> and there's really not that much room for right now anyways. I mean, last we knew he was, uh, in like the 70th percentile for weight and I was a big baby when I was born and so was my partner we both were like nine pounds and my partner is like six three so I mean we're bound to have a big baby more or less at least we think and he's measuring big so might be you know a big baby <laughs> which is okay it's totally awesome because I know he's healthy and don't really have any worries about that but last I knew, my doctor said he was in like the head down position. And I kind of could feel like more kicks, you know, up in my abdomen. So I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell sometimes. He's just like all over the place and his movements are so strong. <laughs> it hurts at times, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, so pretty soon I go and have my 36 week checkup ultrasound along with that and we will know for sure like if he's actually in the head down position. That's what we're hoping for. I really wanna have a natural birth, but like I said, if it did come to having a cesarean, I definitely would be open to it 100%. And the fact of having surgery doesn't really bother me at all because I've had previous surgeries, I mean, covered in tattoos and everything, so the thought of pain doesn't really bother me. Uh, let's see here. But 
but I think I don't know other food cravings I had was um, definitely been craving like a lot of salad and fish with like lemon juice for dressing I don't I think it's like maybe like the acidity of it and like the salad is great for me and great for him so that's always good and I've been craving veggies throughout my whole pregnancy like uh, baby carrots for some reason they're like really good because they're watery and they're small and they're snackable so it's really really good stuff uh, let's see here 35 weeks so I pretty much like my 30 starting my 34th to like the 35th week is when my symptoms or like physical symptoms have been getting worse uh, I've been having like Braxton Hicks contractions every day I walk the dogs I watch and it's like I go on my walks in the morning and I'll be walking for a little bit I wear like my pregnancy belt to help support me and support my back so it makes it more comfortable for me and even then so it's happening like the contractions are happening <laughs> they start in my lower abdomen and it's like really kind of like low low on both sides and then I like slowly start to feel like it tightening around the sides and then like going towards the center and I know they're like Braxton Hicks because of the fact that if I was to like sometimes like I bend over like my tummy down so that way it's like relieves some of the tightness on the muscles to give them like a break because I know like when I'm walking of course you know you're straining your body more it's definitely working harder and uh yeah so that's like one of the big symptoms or like the more difficult ones the other one is too is like that comes with some pain is when Walter and I are on our walks he's moving around inside and then like all of a sudden I'll like feel like a jab to like my it's almost as if it feels like he's grabbing my bladder and just like holding it tight and not letting go like I don't know if they can do that but because of like the the water you know or the uterus I have no idea but it certainly feels that way oh my gosh it's difficult because I'll be walking and then I'll be like oh you know this is so real this is hurting and it'll be like by the lake or something and there'll be like people walking down the trail and they're like looking at me like oh my god and even the dogs I walked look up at me like are you okay is everything okay down there and I'm like it's not okay this is so real it's happening pretty soon and that's the thing I you know it's just like the nursery is almost done pretty much I mean I'm like putting up his name letters here next week and the curtains just like the final touches to the nursery and it will be completed I mean it's like it's gonna be soon he's gonna be here soon and my body is certainly preparing for it oh my gosh it's it almost like it's exciting but also I am like nervous too at the same time it's like oh I can't wait to see him and then like I'm like okay you can like slow down you know don't need to come out yet but he'll come out when he's ready so and then I'll be ready regardless because I have to be right <sighs> anyways so yes it's pretty much my symptoms for the 35th week and like I said I've been craving you know salad and um, lemon juice acidic -y food been craving salty food but certainly haven't been like eating it because of the fact that you know my doctor tells me it'll help with the water retention so I don't want that because it's it just makes walking harder and 
I'd say like in a few weeks here I'm gonna stop walking and I'm gonna at least do my dog boardings up until like a week up until my, a week before my due date because it's just it's not too difficult to watch dogs um yeah so before I start rambling on too much that's pretty much everything uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And, you know, if you want me to recap anything, let me know. If you have any, like, questions about other symptoms that you may be having that I haven't covered, uh, feel free to message me, comment, you know, and I'll answer it the best I can. And just want to... Uh, share my experiences and hopefully give hope to other moms because I've enjoyed watching pregnancy videos of other moms and I you know just kind of want to like touch base on it and share the help with other moms and let them know that they're not alone and you know, pregnancy is more than just the common symptoms that doctors tell you about, like nausea and heartburn and everything else, because there is more to it than just those simple things, simple symptoms. <laughs> but I will be back with another video in the future, probably next week here. So if you like what you see, make sure you hit my like button and subscribe to my videos so that you can watch more of my videos in the future. Thank you everyone and I hope you have a great day. Bye!